continuing with the uh, mechanics of drawing uh, body plots by hand we are going to look here at plotting the body plot of a real zero this is the transfer function of a real zero this is how the real zero looks in the complex plane we rewrite the transfer function like so all I've done is brought out a and this a will end up in the body gain as I've shown in the previous lecture so this part of the transfer function I'll call it g dash of s substitute s equal to j omega to get this transfer function look at the magnitude of the zero now that is magnitude of this is magnitude of this expression and that is equal to this expression here so that is a root of the real part squared plus the root of the imaginary part squared if we write that in decibels this is the expression you get now we can examine this expression for various values of omega when omega tends to 0 this whole expression will tend to 1 root of 1 is 1 log to the base 10 of 1 is 0 so it ends up being 0 decibels so at very small values of omega the magnitude of the 0 real 0 is 0 decibels at omega equal to a this expression becomes 1 the thing under the root sign becomes 2 so the magnitude is 20 log the base 10 root 2 which is 3 decibels by the way a is called a cutoff frequency a corner frequency when omega tends to infinity then the magnitude of the transfer function tends to infinity that decibels also is going to be infinity and when omega is very much larger than a this omega is very much larger than a then this quantity here becomes very much larger than one so you can neglect the one and rewrite the magnitude of the transfer function decibels as so you can look at the phase or the angle of the uh, real zero can I write the transfer function like so take the angle on both sides it's the angle of the entire expression here this angle the entire expression ends up being angle of a plus angle of this part angle of a since a is a real number is zero positive real number it's zero and angle of this part is tan inverse of omega divided by a so the angle of a real zero is tan inverse of omega divided by a so as omega tends to zero the angle or phase tends to zero and omega tends to one the angle of the real zero tends to 45 degrees and when omega tends to infinity the angle of the real zero tends to 90 and this is the actual body diagram this is the magnitude plot this is the phase plot you can draw asymptotes so you can the asymptotically the magnitude plots remains zero till it hits the corner frequency a and then it climbs up at 20 decibels per decade what is 20 decibels per decade so a decade is a power of 10 so let's look at here this is 10 to the power of 2 which is 100 a power of 10 away is 10 to the power of 2 times 10 which is a thousand and if you notice here the magnitude is 20 decibels here it is 40 decibels therefore it is 20 decibels per decade a decade is always a power of 10 so if you are at this point which this is 100 this is 200 multiplied by 10 which becomes 2000 so this is 1000 this is 2000 so distance between here and here is one decade now let's look at the phase plot so the phase remains zero 
to the cutoff frequency given by a divided by 5. From 5a to infinity, the phase is going to be 90 degrees. And then in between, it follows this line. And at omega equal to a, which in this case is 10, the, the magnitude is 45 degrees. Now let's look at the magnitude at any omega greater than a. That magnitude is given by 20 times log to the base 10 omega divided by a. When omega is between a divided by 5 and 5a, the phase is given by 90 times log to the base 10 5 omega divided by a divided by log to the base 10 of 25. Let's look at a real pole. This is how a pole looks in the complex plane. We can rewrite the transfer function like so, just like we did with the real uh, zero. Get out our g dash of s like so. Substitute j equal uh, s equal to j omega, and this is what we get. Find the magnitude like so. Write the magnitude out write the magnitude as decibels by taking 20 log to the base 10 like so and then examine the magnitude for various values of omega when omega tends to 0 this expression tends to 0 so this becomes a 1 log 1 to the base 10 is 0 so when omega tends to 0 the magnitude of the real pole tends to 0 so for very small frequencies the magnitude is 0 decibels when omega equal to a omega equal to a this becomes 1 this whole expression becomes 20 log to the base 10 of 1 divided by root 2 which is minus 3 decibels omega tends to infinity when omega tends to infinity this magnitude tends to minus infinity decibels when omega is very much larger than a, then this whole expression becomes very large compared to this. And so you can neglect the one. If you rewrite that, you get this expression, which is essentially minus 20 log to the base 10 omega divided by a. From all this, if you compare to the real zero, you'll notice that uh, the magnitude plot of the real pole is a mirror image of the magnitude plot of the real zero. Uh, real zero phase same analysis right this is uh, I'm just taking the angle of the transfer function evaluated s equal to g omega that ends up being the angle of one divided by a since this is a positive real number this becomes zero and this ends up being minus tan inverse of omega by a and you can examine uh, the angle or phase at various values of omega and this is what you will get and if you look at the real body plot this is how it looks so body plot for the uh, pole the magnitude plot is 0 till the cutoff frequency and then it drops down at 20 decibels per decade now the red here you see is the asymptote and for omega greater than the cutoff frequency a the magnitude is minus 20 to the base log to the base 10 omega divided by a go to the phase plot the phase is 0 till the corner frequency a divided by 5 the phase is minus 90 from the corner frequency 5a to infinity and in between is the straight line like so at any frequency omega which is between a by 5 and 5a phase is going to be minus 90 times log to the base 10 of 5 omega divided by a divided by log to the base 10 25.